I guess not. But you know what? That's the funny thing. Like you telling me about this movie, I, I guess I use the wrong word, outdated. But um, it, it, it seems like a dated film. It seems like a film that I probably would have seen like five, ten years. You know. Well, see, I mean, it, it it doesn't seem like anything really fresh or new as far as story or the situation in hand. It's like I've seen this story a billion times. It, it, you're right. It's I mean, nothing really new. And we've seen it, this done yeah. better and, and, and with better stories because with this, like I said, it's just mm-hmm. – it doesn't – I, I was giving it kind of the benefit of the doubt at the beginning because I'm, a, I'm, a not, I'm not going to lie. It, right. it is entertaining in some parts. Mm-hmm. You're watching it. You, you, the, the effects are pretty good. The environments that they create are well shot. The, the, the atmosphere that they're going for is very effective. The special effects are pretty cool. I mean, it's, it's pretty much a Blade Runner if somebody nuked it. So, yeah, and, and 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 that and that's not a bad thing. No, uh, and and you're kind of intrigued, but it's near the end of the movie when they start introducing villains that are in, in, in side uh, characters that you never knew about and don't know about by the time the movie ends. That you're like, okay, I don't know what the hell just happened. Yeah. And that's the that obviously that sounds like the problem of the editor, which apparently 20th Century Fox had their suits. I don't know if they have a to go to guy that just says, hey. Cut this up as much as you can, so we can throw it in the theater and be done with it. Uh, no, it's it's, it's hard. obviously the rumors. That's that's exactly what it sounds like. Now, apparently, the director said that only fifteen minutes. He he, they did say that it was, it's been kind of exaggerated as far as you know going through the media. But he said realistically, about fifteen minutes had been cut out. So I, I don't know what's true or what. I mean, but that. That that came out of his mouth apparently. Okay. See, regardless so, of what mm-hmm. happened, because I, I went in there yeah. not thinking that this movie was four hours long yeah. or two hours or whatever. Right. I mean, so it's it's either that that script just wasn't fleshed out well enough. Yeah. Or they didn't have enough footage for the movie because they uh, or they cut out a whole lot. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know, but it just felt incomplete by it was done. Or maybe the book was just so dense that they couldn't fit it all in the movie. Well, if you read the, uh, the synopsis of the book. It almost sounds unfilmable, to be honest. See, I know yeah, I did. I, it, I, I looked it up, and I was like, "By the time well, the movie wants to make this into a movie, yeah, no. By the time the movie's done, you're left feeling like, what, what, what was the real danger, and what was the what was such a, what was such a big deal about the solution? These two twins. Mm-hmm. What, what was what was it about them that was so important that they could save the world? <laughs> yeah, you know. So I, I never got that. Now, and there, and not to mention, there are some there are some scenes that are fun but don't seem like they fit with the serious tone that they're going for in the movie uh f- look vin D- you know the, you got vin diesel in the movie and michelle yeah. yo they gonna whoop yeah, somebody's I wanna ass see, i want to see some ass kicking some whooping yeah. ass some big ass skittles explosions and- skittles explosions yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a fruit flavor of colors I, I don't know what kind of movie you watch <laughs> But uh, that's what but, I need, Corey. But no, there's a scene in there where they they get these guys to do the wall jumping thing that became popular not long no. ago, and and you could tell that they did that because that's popular yeah. in, in France. And that's already dated it, too. Yeah, I mean. exactly because the director's French. I mean, you could tell that was popular in France. Like, hey, so he like he just discovered it on YouTube. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's cool. Sorry, that was cool, cool about movie. five years ago. But <laughs> when you got Vin Diesel and Michelle Yeoh, somebody's gonna get their ass whooped, and they go into a scene where they just there's there's it feels like oh we got to have an excuse for them. For Ben Diesel to be a tough guy, yeah. and for Michelle Yeoh to do some karate, <laughs> and she just does karate. She's beating people's asses, <laughs> asses left and right. Yeah. And she opens up the door and just starts whooping ass for no reason. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she, I mean, she's looking at big people too, like you know, like oh, surprise! You know, I could do this, did you? So, oh shit, it's Michelle Yeo. Oh, oh sorry, look man, out, sorry. duck! Yeah. Everybody, duck! <laughs> There's a scene where it, you walk into the to the middle of this uh, this bar, and the bar is, the, is like the most criminal bar in the world. It's like scum and villainy, <laughs> yes. and they, it's, it's so bad that next to the strippers and the stripper. Yeah. Pole, you got a guy in a cage beating the shit out of somebody <laughs> and, and of course Vin Diesel has to go in that cage yeah. now it's not even like he went in there oh, yeah. it's almost like he tripped he's like whoa, whoa. Oh, wait, I'm in the fighters cage I got to, <laughs> I got to defend myself and it's like uh, I'm a victim um, of circumstance <laughs> yeah. so it's just like that felt a little that, that felt a little too forced right there. Yeah. Just a little bit. It's like, come on, we got Vin Diesel here. What do you what, you got him acting? We don't nobody wants to see that. Fucking have him kick some ass. Throw, you know what? What's that guy doing over there in that cage? Exactly. <laughs> like, you come here. Just hit me. Wow. We gotta have an action scene here. That's <laughs> what my audience wants. <laughs> so to sum it all up, man, I, the movie it, it it looks good. Yeah. It's entertaining. It's not the bad movie that people expected it to be because right. it's being dumped in the middle of a month when nothing's coming out. Right. But at the same time, the story is a little too confusing and feels a little incomplete. Yeah. And therefore, that's why I would say watch it or get, get it as a rental. 
And if mm. you have a big screen, high definition TV, that's the perfect time to see it. But mm. to, to go to the theater and see it, I, I don't <laughs> think it's worth that. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like a mess, Corey. I don't know. I, I, poor Vin Diesel. <laughs> that, that poor guy. Is his career like going backwards? <laughs> he's like, man, that's, he, that's the he's, thing. He's going to be in the next Fast and Furious. And, and apparently he's going to film the prequel now. Did you hear that? To the Fast and the Furious? Yeah. There's, there's, a, there's gonna, I don't know if it's going to be a short or what, but <laughs> I did read he's going to film a Fast and Furious prequel. What was, what are we I don't know pre- what he's doing. What, what are we going to get in a prequel? Well, we get to see him building his car? I <laughs> guess so. <laughs> we get to see him working on his engine? <laughs> yeah, he's in high school working on engines with a shop <laughs> teacher. And, you know, <laughs> I, I don't know how what, what's fast, gonna we get to We get to see like a baby Vin Diesel speeding down the street on a tricycle. I mean, <laughs> yeah. what, what kind of prequel are we going to get with gonna that? going to be sucking on a wrench. <laughs> <laughs> That's what oh, and, and on top of that, uh, he's still trying to promote the goddamn Riddick series. Did you, hear, Come, did you read about that? What, no. What? 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 Yeah, he wants to. Uh, he's really talking Riddick up again, uh, as far as like, I think people want to see how this trilogy ends. No, they don't. We got two more in us. I know we do. Did he? Did he? Yeah, say he did. That? Yeah, yeah. It's. Uh, I'll, I'll write a, a Make, blog about it tomorrow if you want. Man, you got to write something about that. <laughs> okay. It kind of it kind of it kind of went under the radar, I think, because nobody, nobody really everyone wants to ignore that and <laughs> just go no no. But well, you know, this film is going to decide that though. Honestly, I mean, it, I honestly think if this film does bad, it's it's a Vin Diesel science fiction movie. If this tanks, you know, I'm sure any studio, if they're even trying to shop around that Riddick, I don't know if I don't know if it's available. As far as you know, hey, who who wants who wants to uh, get the last two Riddick movies? But if this movie tanks, I can I can only see, see that not happening because I can see a studio going. I'm sorry, but you know you and science fiction just don't mix. You're better off driving those goddamn cars down <laughs> yeah. the street. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, I saw Vin Diesel in that movie Find Me Guilty, uh-huh. and in that movie he played a mob boss. And he, and he looked, is that the one where he had the gray hair? Yeah, the gray oh, hair. Yeah. That, that gray hair piece looked like he had a poodle on his head, and yeah. and then he he, uh, he his also, one standout performance that I don't think anybody saw, right? No, then nobody saw the movie, but he was good in the movie. Played mm-hmm. a, played a guy who he gained, he gained weight for it. He looked mm-hmm. a little older. I mean, mm-hmm. and I so Vin Diesel is a good actor, man. Uh, it's just that he falls into that that trap of one he one he's such a tough looking guy. No, they won't gonna make you a tough guy, an action guy. Sorry, dude. I mean, you and your muscles are tearing through these suits like crazy. We can't exactly. have you walking around acting. <laughs> yeah, it's sound like you smoked, you know, fifty packs of cigarettes <laughs> yeah. before you walked on the set. I mean, what are we supposed to do? You can't. <laughs> we ain't gonna actually make you do Shakespeare right now, sounding like that. You scare people. Be, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, alas, poor Yurik. I knew you well before I ripped your spine out. <laughs> you know. <laughs> So I I don't know man I I I hope the best for Vin Diesel because I don't look there's, there's very few people even if I don't like their movies that I wish anything bad on right you know? and Vin Diesel he's seems not like that genu- bad yeah no he, he seems like a he, genuine yeah, he, guy man he, he he was he was great in uh, Saving Private Ryan I mean he, uh, no he's, he's a man he's a he, he's yeah he a was entertaining in, in Pitch Black before they bastardized that film and turned it into Riddick but yeah I enjoyed that film but hey yeah no it's uh. No, I just I just really would like to see him take another project besides doing some some bullshit. And he, be, and he better do it quick, man. I mean, honestly, with uh, with with him going back to the Fast and Furious series, it, it seems a little desperate. I'm sure a lot of people, you know, are thinking that mm-hmm. uh, because hey, maybe that's all he can do now. Um, but yeah, it, it's unfortunate for him. But I, hey. Of course, I ain't gonna lose any sleep over it. Okay. Yeah, well, you, yeah. Hey, I, I'm not Vin Diesel. <laughs> yeah, I ain't his goddamn. Manager. I ain't got his money, so <laughs> yeah, he, hey, exactly. he's, I don't give a two rats if, asses. Whether this movie does yeah. well or not, <laughs> he got more money than I do. You can you can drive go karts all around, and make exactly. clear out of that for all I care. Yeah, go off and go off and make a uh, uh, Fast and Furious babies. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> can you see him on a tricycle trying to run down an ice cream truck? <laughs> yeah. Give me the ice cream. <laughs> Jumping on ice cream trucks like a road warrior. <laughs> <laughs> I want a double scoop. <laughs> uh, no, nah, so good. Man, hey, man, we'll see what happens. I hope I was recording this. Okay. 